We have a couple of minutes. So would you mind if we did a quick tour of your of studio course, yeah. and you introduce Let's us to all of those gadgets you've got over I there? Mean, okay. All right. First um, of all, well, of course, you have a purple computer board. Of course. Yeah. Uh, this is my computer board. Yeah. Huh? And here I have this is the JDXI from Roland. It's an analog and digital synth. So it's great because I can get to make literally like any sound I want, like mixing the oscillators with the waves and then applying filters, uh, the amps, LFOs effects. This is my um, my audio interface. It's the ID44 from Audient. And it's really cool because it has like a super transparent sound of these consoles they used to have in Abbey, in the Abbey studios in London and amazing like sounding preamps. Um, these monitors are the Avantone uh, Abbey Pro and the Kali Audio LP6, they're both super flat and I have them both, this one have like a sub in, in between them, so it has uh, basically a three-way sound where I can listen to everything. This is a huge stone that I have, it's also a lamp. <laughs> I have one of those at um, home actually. This one right here, well I don't know if you get to see this one. Oh my goodness, it's, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this okay. is the Focusrite liquid channel. It's actually a, a channel that's already, uh, like, it's not made anymore. Like, they stopped producing this, like, five years ago. But it's super cool because it emulates, like, famous preamps and famous compressors, limiters. So, for example, you can have, like, an Avalon preamp or, like, a Trident preamp and use it with a distressor or with a universal audio limiter compressor. So it's super cool like to play around with vocals, uh, with guitars, drum, like to mix it with everything that you want to add like a little bit more spice into the sound. Okay. And then over here, side, your other toys. My other toys. <laughs> so I have, this is my, my electronic drum kit, my B drums. And they're amazing because, um, yeah, I basically get to choose like any sound I want to play with in this module of the TD-17, of the V-Drums TD-17. Oh, sorry. That's all right. And uh, yeah, and I love that they're silent, so my neighbors don't uh, freak out when I'm playing the drums. <laughs> and here I have everything. This is basically like what I use to play live. So this is my DJ equipment from Native Instruments. This is the Tractor Control S4. And it's super cool because it has uh, four channels. And I get to also play around uh, with the jog wheel mode and to add the effects here, for example, and browse the songs here. So it's super useful for that. Uh, this is the Boss RC300 loop station that I use, for example, for looping vocals, guitars. It's kind of like more in performance stuff. Uh, this is the Boss GT1000, which has like basically all the amp sounds and guitar effects. I use also like to play live. And this one right here, is the Boss V500 that I use also to play live. And this has like a, a really cool thing where I can use a vocoder with the guitar. So I kind of like activate through the guitar, this little button, the harmony, and then it adds different harmonies to my vocals based on the chords I'm playing in the guitar. And I can also add like reverb, delay, uh, to add kind of like this uh, live performance feeling to what I'm doing. And that way I have all my guitars and my well, let, let's look at this first. Oh, this. You know, as a radio guy, I, met, I noticed this right away. Uh -huh. Whoa, what yeah. is that? This is amazing. Well, here, uh, under here, I have my Steven Slate mic. Um, and this is actually, uh, I guess people know it as the Chaotic Eyeball. This is similar to the Chaotic Eyeball, but it's super cool because it adds as a soundproof uh, system, basically for the mic and it's very useful um, in a way that I can actually take it anywhere and I don't have to build like a full like booth to record the vocals but I can actually have this little soundproof and with this pad so uh, I can make sure like not there's not going to be like leakage of like uh, sounds into my recordings and like people will sound beautifully here <laughs> and uh, yeah these are all my guitars um, my Gibson guitars, this is an SG, this is the Les Paul uh, high performance that I have. This is a W416 high performance as well, uh, the acoustic one. Um, this is the AX Edge, the new Roland guitar that's amazing, uh, I love it and like visually it looks super cool, it looks like out of this world. 
and it sounds amazing. It has like this 80s sounds that are super, super cool. And this guitar, it's called the Gallo Custom Guitar. Uh, that's actually also made for live performances. It has like all the crazy, like my favorite colors, studs. Uh, it has LED lights inside, so it's like kind of like my full collection of everything of who I am, like to play with. And yeah, well, and these are like all my art canvas and like my Mexican sculpture. Yeah, you seem to like Calavaras a lot. <laughs> yeah, I love them. I love them because I love um, how they represent the celebration of life, actually. So I think it's really cool that uh, in the end, like Mexicans kind of like celebrate like life in the Dia de los Muertos. So I have like this collection of all Mexican schools. Uh, some of them, some friends, Mexican friends have brought them to me. Um, yeah, I also have those two that have like actual flowers uh, that kind of like they're very reminiscent of that uh, canvas. That's cool. So yeah. This All is right. basically my whole space. <laughs>